Bucking windblown logs is especially hazardous. It's hard to predict the movement that'll take place. If the root plate will want the log to stand back up, if it'll move slightly or if it'll move in a fast thing. So we need to position ourselves where we're away from any movement of the log. On this particular log, we look at the root plate, we look at the arch of the log, and it appears that it's compressing on the bottom and tension or pulling apart on the top, which would give us a bottom bind. What we need to do here is we need to relieve the bottom bind before the top so that we can control the movement or the release of the log. So what we'll do, as in all bucking operations, we'll start on the top with a shallow cut, then we'll bring it down, underbuck the log until we detect a slight movement or closing of the kerf. Then we'll pull our saw back, come around on the top, and finish bucking down, only committing enough bar to finish the cut. So that as we finish the cut, we're standing as far away from the log as possible. As the release is made, we can move even farther away from the log. Before we start, we'll have to get these debris off the back side here that might interfere with our cuts or might be thrown should the log move. We need to check and see for any overhead hazards. We're standing in a pretty clear area here. We don't have anything over our head. If there's any movement of this, there's no trees or anything for it to impact to cause movement. Well, we didn't have much movement, but we read our bind properly. We were able to relieve the tension, come down from the top, finish our cut with the tip of our bar, and step back away. <laughs>